Hi, bestie. Oh my god. This is so awkward. Let me restart. Hi, bestie. I hope you guys are doing well. Long time no see. Literally. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing pretty much amazing. Let me grab a seat. Let me grab a seat. Life update. As you might see, I've been wearing a Harry Styles, Harry, Harry's house, Harry Styles hoodie. As you might guess, I've been to one of his concerts and that was the best day of my entire Life. This is so weird because you see my reflection in the mirror. I've been honored to get a ticket to Harry Styles in Berlin. I was in, in Berlin for artwork shooting. Writing the second EP, which is so exciting to tell. I'm going to release a second EP next year. I mean, the first one isn't out yet, but there's already a second one coming, which is so amazing because that means that the project is doing well and that's all thanks to you guys, obviously. And I'm, I couldn't be more happier to write more music and sing it myself. Then I've been to the Harry Styles concert, which was amazing. It was out of the world. The crowd was so loud, so lovely. It was a huge party because he's a freaking legend. Us in that week, we shot a music video, which you might have already seen. I've released a new song. I've released a new song called Happier along with a cool music video which you can check out here, the song here. I couldn't be more happier actually because you guys absolutely love the video. If you haven't had the chance, check it out right now. On the artwork, I'm wearing a butterfly. Actually, I'm not wearing it one. I got glued one to my face. This is the beautiful crochet butterfly that I've done and we used in the music video, in the Forget Me music, music video already, and on the artwork shoot for my new song called Happier. This one we're gonna recreate today and I'm gonna show you the whole process, take you along. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's stop the talking and let's step right off with that little tutorial. Have fun. All right, regarding the materials, I'm gonna use some cotton yarn, actually. If you can find a cotton yarn that is suitable for a two to three millimeter hook, then that is the best one you can get, actually. And I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook. Don't be confused, I've shot the tutorial with the orange one on the B row and on the A row, where I'm gonna explain the pro whole process, I'm gonna show it to you on the blue one. So we're gonna do a blue one, and a orange one at the same time. What else you're gonna need is wool needles and a scissor. To explain the structure of that little butterfly, we're gonna have four wings. We're gonna start with the orange part in this butterfly first. So we start right off with um, wing one, which is the wing down below and we're gonna do this twice. We start with a slip knot and we're gonna chain up 10. So when you've done 10 chains we're gonna we're gonna do a double crochet into the second loop. We're gonna add three double crochets next. Next we're gonna do a half double crochet into the next one decreasing our stitches in the length and now we're gonna do a single crochet and the rest of the chain we're gonna slip stitch which is three slip stitches in order to make it smaller and shape the wing. Next up we're gonna do one chain up, turn our work and we're gonna slip stitch back three times. It's a little bit tricky. And when we've done that we're gonna do a single crochet, a half double crochet and now four double crochets. When we've done that, we're gonna chain up two, turn our work, and we're gonna do directly into the first stitch another double crochet by increasing this one. Then we're gonna increase another one to the next stitch. So two double crochets into the next stitch again. Then we're gonna do a double crochet, then a half double crochet, then a single crochet, 
and then four slip stitches. And as you can see, the wing is already about to shape a little. And then we add another row and we chain up one, turn our work. Now we do four slip stitches again. Pain, pain, I hate it. I hate slip stitches. And when we're done that, we're gonna do two single crochets into the next upcoming two stitches. Then half double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're gonna do a increase with a double crochet. So we're gonna do two double crochets into the next loop. In the next one, we're gonna do two double crochets in the same loop again. So we increase by two double crochets again. And in the last one, we're gonna do another two double crochets into the same loop. And now we're gonna chain up one and pull a long end, cut it and pull it through. And then it should look like this and it will be Point it like this. We're going to repeat the process and add another one of those. This is how it looks. Um, you have two of the wings right now. So these are the lower wings of the butterfly. And now we're going to do the upper wings. These are slightly a little bit bigger. We're going to chain up <clears throat> 15. When we have crochet, when we crochet 15, we're going to do a slip stitch into the third loop and now we're gonna add four double crochets into the next four upcoming stitches. Now we're gonna do a half double crochet. When we've done the half double crochet we're gonna do four single crochets and the rest will be three slip stitches in the end. We've done that, we chain up one, turn our work and we're gonna do three slip stitches again. Now we're going to do three single crochets to the next three upcoming stitches. Now we're going to do one half double crochet. Now we're going to do six double crochets. When we've done six double crochets, we're going to do a increase into the last one with two double crochets into the same stitch. And now we're gonna chain up two, turn our work for the row three, and now we're gonna do into the same stitch of the chain up a double crochet to increase that stitch again. Now we're gonna do four double crochets into the four upcoming stitches. Now we're gonna increase into the next stitch with a double crochet again. So we're gonna do two double crochets into the same stitch. And when we've done that, we're gonna do a half double crochet into the next stitch. And now three single crochets into the next upcoming three stitches. And the rest will be five single crochets until the end of our row. When we've done that, we're gonna chain up one, turn our work again. And we're gonna do four slip stitches into the next row. Then we're gonna do one single crochet. Now three half double crochets. And now we're gonna increase with a double crochet into the next stitch. So that means we're gonna do two double crochets into the same stitch. Now we're gonna do another increase into the next stitch with a triple crochet. For this we're gonna loop around the yarn um, twice around your hook and do a, the same method as a double crochet. When we've done that we're gonna place another triple crochet into the next stitch. Now we're gonna do a normal double crochet and now we're gonna do an increase again into the next stitch with two double crochets a half double crochet to the next stitch. Then we're gonna do a single crochet. And last but not least, we're gonna do two slip stitches into the next upcoming two stitches in order to close the wing. And then we're gonna do one chain, pull a long end, cut it, pull it through. We have our upper wing, which looks like this. We, we're gonna do that again, so we repeat the whole process. It will look like something like this in the end. So when you have your two upper wings and your lower wings, we're gonna connect those with the black. But first of all, we're gonna outline those with the black. <laughs>
start right off with the lower wing. So we're gonna attach our black yarn where we just left off the last stitch. We're gonna chain up two and now we're gonna crochet this line down below all around the wing coming up again here. For this we're gonna do eight double crochets on that one side. Just place them anywhere in between the rows. So when we've done our eight double crochets look like this. Then we're gonna do a half double crochet and then we're gonna do two single crochets into that same stitch. And now for this line we're gonna do seven single crochets. When we've done that we're gonna do three um, slip stitches on that side, the inner side of the wing. And now we're gonna go back. So we're gonna do three single crochets into the first three stitches. Then we're gonna do two half double crochets into the next upcoming two stitches. And then we're gonna do a double crochet. And in the next stitch we're gonna do a increase with a double crochet. So we're gonna place two. Then we're gonna do a double crochet and increase again into the next stitch with a double crochet. And one last time we're gonna repeat the whole pattern with one double crochet into the first stitch and two double crochets into the next stitch. Into the last stitch we're gonna do four triple crochets. Last but not least we're gonna do a double crochet into the first stitch where we attached it and close the whole thing with a slip stitch. And then we're gonna do one chain up, pull a long end and cut it. And this is how it looks right now. And now we're gonna do this to the other lower wing. Also what I forgot to tell us actually, you're gonna weave in your ends, your excess yarn, as soon as you finished one of the parts. Um, now we're gonna do the uh, black part for the uh, upper wing. So we're gonna attach the yarn, we chain up two and we're gonna do a double crochet into the same stitch and then we're gonna do three double crochets. Then we're gonna increase into the next stitch with a double crochet and we're gonna do three double crochets again next upcoming three stitches. And then we're gonna do three double crochets into the same stitch increasing. And when we're done that we're gonna do a half double crochet and now 10 single crochets until we hit the end of the row. Soon as we at the end of the row we're gonna slip stitch to the other side using three slip stitches and now we're gonna do eight single crochets. Then we're gonna do a half double crochet increase into the next stitch we're gonna do an increasement with a double crochet. So we place two double crochets into the next stitch. And then we're gonna do a normal double crochet into the next stitch and increase again into the next stitch with a double crochet. And now we're gonna place three triple crochets into the next upcoming three stitches. And then on top to, uh, in order to build the little corner of the uh, wing, we're gonna chain up two on the last triple crochet. Then we go back in our stitches into the, where we just closed the triple crochet. Then we gonna take the yarn and pull it through and pull it through the other loop that we already had on our hook uh, with a slip stitch. And then we're gonna just place another double crochet to the next stitch, close it by using a slip stitch and chain up one and pull along and cut it and then we're gonna weave in the axis. All right, next we're gonna connect the lower wing with the upper wing. So we cut a good amount of uh, yarn, which is about 20 centimeters. And then we're gonna connect it with our wool needle actually. All right, so these are the two wings. And now we're gonna do the body part next. <music> We're gonna use the black yarn for this one and we're gonna do a magic ring. And into our magic ring, we're gonna insert six double crochets and then we're gonna pull it tight, close the ring and our double crochets to a little circle with a slip stitch. And then we're gonna chain up two and then we're gonna um, put six double crochets into the next 
uh, row of our ring and for this we're gonna just um, insert our hook into the outer loop of the ring if that makes sense uh, as soon as we've done those six double crochets we're gonna close the ring or we're gonna close the row with a slip stitch and chain up two again and continue working this method for four rows and when you've reached the fourth row we're gonna stuff it with a little bit of cotton in order to close it gonna slip stitch the next row and then we just lay it flat both sides and go do, through both sides with our hook and just do one single crochet and then we're gonna do a chain and pull a long end and cut it. Weave in the excess yarn. In order to connect the body to the wings, we're gonna first cut obviously a long amount of yarn, fold the wings in half like that, and attach our yarn of one of the side and one of, at one of the sides and sew those both parts together. As soon as we have both parts together, we're gonna um, attach our little body and we're gonna place it on top. You go through the body and go back through the wings in order to attach your butterfly. And last but not least, you're gonna add the details. So as you can see is I've added little lines in the wing. For this I'm just using the black and the wool needle and embroider it in. And I added some white spots, like thick spots on top and tiny spots on the sides. And what you can also add is adding French knots on top with the orange. Okay, bestie, it worked. Okay, what I did is I glued um, some wire on the back. I attached another yarn, a black yarn, to the head of the butterfly. Took those sides that are close to the head of the wing and sewed them to the head. Give them more stability. All right, bestie, look at this. This is the bouquet of flowers that I have. The butterfly looks so good in it, doesn't it? Still have this one, which I could add. Oh, this looks so good. This looks so freaking good. And I have this one that kind of, yeah, stands. I can just place it here. This looks so freaking amazing. All right, bestie, I hope you guys like this little tutorial on the butterfly. Um, I really much enjoyed it. And I really much enjoy the bouquet series, obviously. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I see you soon. I hope you have a good night, a good morning, or a good day, actually, whenever you're watching this video. Make sure to give it some thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more DIY videos and crochet videos in the future. And I can't wait, actually, to be back in the next video. I see you guys soon. Bye-bye. I'm out. Ciao. And stream, stream my new song. Stream, stream happier. I see you soon. Bye-bye.